I haven't been getting no video lately. Uh, my lawn routes have been too big and um, there's so much else going on with liquidating equipment and then trying to convert that cash back to sustainable resources in case there's supply chain issues and, and or if the valuation of the currency goes down. There's not a good reason to have it held in cash. I'm trying to get some homesteading stuff done, like I'm trying to get some chickens for eggs and some water toads put in an outhouse in case power goes down and can't get running water. Uh, there's a list. It's a long list. Well, yesterday I had a choice to go. I wasn't, you know, I kind of was trying to, I was resolved to not do lawn mowing on weekends but i wanted to yesterday because i had a heavy residential route and there was three or four commercial stuff that could have been taken care of you know without customers around and you know i wanted to go do that but instead i thought well i'm gonna go take care of this leaking tire and i took it down to a tire shop here sat around waited an hour and a half and they fixed it but did not fix it it's exactly the same as it was before it's you know they don't they they said they you know we're going to take it off patch it you know everything which i can plug it myself but i wanted it done so i had a reliable truck so that i could just go out today monday and hit everything you know knock out 15 yards or something i don't remember what it was supposed to be but of course they didn't get it fixed either they missed another leak or they didn't get the leak that they found didn't get sealed up because it's exactly the way it was in the past where uh you know the night before if you air it up to 45 the next day it's going to be around 18 psi well tires for these trucks are actually getting very hard to find the 15 inch um so because all the new trucks have gone to bigger rims and everything so um I, these cooper evolutions have been very good tires for me i just don't so i don't want to run them under inflated and take away from the longevity of those tires um so i'm trying i tried to put it on a trailer it don't fit i mean i could maybe get it work put the ramps chained to the bumper or something i don't know It'd be a lot of a lot of frustration I'm waiting on somebody to help me get the truck down there because I do not have time to go down there and wait. I have to get out, get started on the, the chicken coop and I uh, finally found some winter clothing and stuff that was affordable because it's end of the season at the tractor supply and got new shoes and everything yesterday. Um, once again, under the idea, why hold cash when I'm wearing rags? and then the currency could go to nothing you know because i've had old people tell me the stories about the weimar republic where they had to take wheelbarrows full of currency in to get a loaf of bread you know so having some extra articles of clothing and stuff is uh in my best interest so i have to go especially now when it's on half price like i got some carhartt half price at uh, tractor supply because we're coming into the summer so what's left of the winter clothing is being marked down and then i'm trying to get what what materials i need to keep my mowers running stockpiled in case supply chain issues come up or whatnot but it may not it may be a moot point because if the you know what hits the fan who's going to really care about having a lawn mowed and, you know, but I've also been hitting the thrift store, seeing what trade items and stuff I can stock up on. Um, it it kind of sucks because before I was annoyed at, you know, you get something from a customer and you have to convert it to something usable, like a check. You have to convert it to cash. Now I feel like I'm being handed something just worthless as checks that I have to convert to something that would hold its value. So I'm having to now instead of just doing the work and getting paid i'm really not paid until i convert that potentially worthless piece of paper in the future to something that could hold or retain value either for my use or as a trade item down the line so 
the, the script is flipped and I'm trying to do the best I can, but it's just adding to an already um, full schedule. I mean, but it, it was good just to get rid of stuff, just to get rid of stuff. If I wasn't using it, because I would have cluster Fs of stuff here where I'd have to, to get one thing out, I'd have to get out and move two trucks and three trailers. You know what I'm saying? If I can get by with less, that's what I need to do. Um, so that was kind of, that's, that's the other issue. And then of course, having a whole bunch of stuff that that's motorized. Well, you have to worry about the fuel going bad and everything. So, all right. You know, I said, I didn't have no time and look at me standing here talking. I guess I'm trying to get my, uh, uh you know, priorities straight out for the rest of the day i need to go to the steel shop and find some decking material and get another trailer situated um and then of course then there's changes come about because of fuel prices and stuff too that i'm still having to deal with as far as tow rigs and stuff so you know it's all challenges that either i will overcome or they may become moot points you know as, as is most often the case um all the azaleas are dropping their leaves now the blooms and and we had a couple cold nights so we're not full blown into uh mowing season now so yet um hopefully i've got my my you know what together quite a bit more by then than i do now and another issue is uh, the knee, my artificial knee is going to need some kind of attention. I'm going to have to start some home therapy on, to walk on a knee, I guess is explained to me, is like peg leg. You'll, you'll start getting lazy and peg leg. And, and then what can help is if, well, one, you lose weight, which I do think I need to lose another 20 pounds. But two, do exercises like the extension and contraction so you get more supportive muscle structure around that joint but as it stands right now it's been giving me a lot of pain and that's another reason i haven't been getting videos because i just need to get through my lawns and get on to this other stuff that's become uh important to me and then uh that all is adding up to where I, I haven't been able to get the videos out. And then the only thing I got left, if I don't get action videos for y'all, is anecdotal and opinion. And kind of from my analytics, it seems as if those videos are not as desirable. Not many people care about what I have to say. Um, they'd rather see the mower running, and that's fine. I understand. There's plenty of talking heads out there. So... Um, that's what's been going on and i haven't been able to get the videos out like i wanted to i've got plenty of subject matter i just don't have the time so i apologize all right i'm going to get on to work and uh yeah this year the name of the game is going to be save up for a, a new knee and just continue to try to deal with the changes that are coming as far as what's going on with the lawn mowing business so all right, y'all have a good one. I'll catch you later.